What's up, you got? Sorry, I was lighting my candle. <laughs> What's up, you guys? What's happening? I know I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's been a minute. It's been a good two months. But I'm back. I'm feeling motivated to just get on YouTube. The subscribers have been rolling in, so I'm going to roll in with another video. Today's video is going to be a Pinterest update but before we get into it make sure you follow me on all of my social media platforms pinterest tiktok instagram and subscribe baby all the links are going to be posted right here i don't feel like saying all of them but they're going to be posted and we're going to get into it so i'm doing a pinterest update on how much i have made i did a poll actually on my instagram story about it what should my next youtube video be about and you guys the top two was Pinterest up. I just spit. Ooh. Pinterest update and it was a story time. I'm definitely gonna do a story time, but I gotta figure out what y'all want me to do a story time on. Pinterest update is here. I'm gonna be doing more videos. Don't stress. I'm gonna be doing like a day in the life, content creator, get ready with me, all that good stuff. Okay, so don't stress. This is a video about how I made seven thousand and four hundred dollars on pinterest in the last three months so yeah that's how much i've made and we're gonna get into it this video is really not a detailed video it's more like an update if you want a detailed video on how to make this type of money or how to get enrolled into the pinterest creator rewards i have a part one and part two on my youtube channel about how to make this type of money I did how to make 1800 in a week, but it's basically the same rules apply. You just gotta do the same stuff every day, every week, whatever. But yeah, so this is just an update and I'm gonna be telling you guys what I've noticed to help you guys to grow your platforms or your Pinterest accounts. Take notes. Hair videos do really well, like curly hair inspiration videos. Like if you're doing your hair, those do really well. If you're just not even curly hair, but like if you're just pressing your hair, if you're doing braids on your hair, you're getting your braids done or like sewing, tape-ins, whatever. Hair videos do really good in general. Um, there's a really, um, on Pinterest, it's a really young demographic on there. So a lot of girls that are in like middle school or high school want to know how to do their hair when they go to school. Or like, you know, how to look cute, how to, you know what I'm saying? So definitely do your hair and record it. Like you have to think of, you have to think of Pinterest as an investment in a way. So like if you're getting your hair done or if you got braids, post it. If you get your nails done, post your nails, post you doing your hair, post you getting braids. Like it's an investment. And like once you start getting paid, it's like a, the money is gonna come back tenfold more than what you even spent on like braids or hair or whatever. Think of yourself as a mood board. Like if you're fashion, if you have a girly style, if you have a tomboy style, if you have like an emo, Y2K, whatever style you have, trust me, somebody's gonna like it, somebody's gonna love it, somebody's gonna become obsessed with you. So just post it. Like, do not care about what these people think. These people are not paying you $7,400. Your haters are not paying you that much money. These apps and these girlies love you and they're gonna, you know, it's gonna come back. So think of everything that you do as an investment, okay? So think of yourself. Like, Teddy, sorry. <laughs> think of yourself as an investment. Like, just think of it like as something that you're going, you're just investing yourself to get the money back. Hair videos, um, posting your nails, posting um, your skin routine, posting a get ready with me, posting how to pose. Like, if you're posting content, and this is another thing too. This is not just only with Pinterest. This is like a influencer tip. If you're posting videos that has value or adding tips or showing people how to do certain things, they are likely going to do well and likely to get saved, likely to go viral, likely to get favorited. Those are the videos that are going to help you do well, help you gain followers, help you get brand deals, help you to get paid on Pinterest. Like, Just think about the content you want to post and just make sure you're adding value to it or it can be shareable, okay? Keep posting. Like, I think the biggest thing a lot of people don't realize you have to do is be consistent. On Pinterest, you have to be consistent. You cannot post 
one week in February and another week in April and miss March and just like, like you just gotta post. If you're not posting every day, try to post every other day. Try to post two times, like every two days, every three days. Like try to post at least once a week. Like that is how you're, that is the only way you're going to grow. That's the only way your audience is going to like really love you and feel you and you know reach out to you and like support you and that support is going to make you money from the pinterest app now here's another little tip that a lot of girlies don't talk about but i'm talking about it you have to put money aside for taxes ladies and gentlemen so make sure you're putting your money aside because in a couple months the beginning of january to april or may depending on when you guys file your taxes whatever i'm going to get a letter from pinterest saying hey you've been getting paid from us we've been paying you we put you basically on payroll but we didn't take out the taxes here's the taxes you got to pay back and yeah so you got to take out your taxes people don't just go spending and like forget about it or just don't I advise you as soon as you get paid, this is what I do. As soon as I get the direct deposit, I put my money aside. And yeah, you should be putting like, I mean, it depends on how you feel. I, I hear 30%, 20%. I put away 30% just to be safe. But yeah, so just be cautious of that. You guys don't get too happy. Set the money aside. As if treat it like a job, like because it is your job if you're taking it serious. So that is my Pinterest update for the last three months and my observations. Um, and yeah, so you guys, that's pretty much it. And you know, just stay focused, just keep posting, don't get caught up in the numbers. You're going to go viral if you are following my steps from part one and part two on my YouTube, my other videos on my YouTube, whatever. So that's pretty much it um make sure you guys are following me on all my social media platforms i'm almost at 500 subscribers that is wild so stay tuned i'm gonna be posting more i'm sorry that i have not but i am and yeah so it's lit all right you guys it's been real i love y'all stay blessed and i will see you in the next video maybe it'll be a story time Maybe it'll be a get ready with me. Maybe it'll be how to get money from brand deals. Who knows? I'll see y'all later. Be blessed. Don't be stressed. I love y'all.